audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today, Aries, I'm going to be doing your weekly, uh, not general reading, your weekly you versus them reading. I also do your weekly general reading, Aries, uh, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Aries, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Aries, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Aries, because that's how I keep up with y'all, through the comments and just hearing what card uh, gives you your aha moment. And if you get an aha moment with my cards, be sure to let me know um, just how the situation pans out, right? Don't leave me hanging. Um, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out this channel a lot and I am super appreciative, Aries, when you take the time to do that for me. And then finally, this reading is just here to give you some perspective, Aries. I'm not here to make a decision in your life, uh, just something for you to think about and some food for thought for you to take with you throughout this week. But with all that being said, let's get into the reading now, Aries. After I finish this awful shuffle I just did, my goodness. <laughs> So, for uh, the two animal cards I pulled for you for the overall energy this week, Aries, is the pig spirit number 47, which would be 11, actually, for numerology, so write that down. Uh, the pig spirit also um, is one of the... Mm, never mind. Uh, the pig spirit, though, use your mind wisely. I also associate the pig, I guess, I'll just tell you. I associate the pig with abundance, and I associate it with just, like, a good omen. I guess. So I, I, re I enjoy this a lot, especially when it's with the 1111 or 1111, especially when it is the 11 card uh, for numerology. It is a really good number. I would kind of see this as like the very much so um, a wish fulfillment card. But when you have use your mind wisely paired with this penguin card, honey. Mm -mm. So this card says the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. Now, Aries, I'm giving you this face because it's like this is the shadow work card. Uh, the card, this card wanted to come out. Seven of Swords. It does feel like you're almost like you feel betrayed in some sense. Wow, this is coming out in a really aggressive way I didn't anticipate. It does feel like with this setup. You know, pig spirit and good omen and stuff aside, I feel like that's just like a side thing to like put a note on right now, <laughs> Aries. But with the message itself being like, use your mind wisely. This is be the card of like, be careful of your emotions, Aries. Keep a control of your emotions when you handle this situation. Uh, the penguin card, I call it the shadow work card because it's like, um, almost, I see this as like, <sighs> how would I put this? Like, you're so close to finishing a lesson, but I feel like you just need, like, a little bit more awareness of, like, uh, to have it come into completion. It's almost just, like, you're so close to the, close to the finish line, but then you want to, like, do something petty, and it's just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, let's finish, do, go through that finish line, right? Even if you feel, uh, hurt in some type of way with that seven of swords or betrayed in some type of way or just overwhelmed, don't be, like, just focus on the, what you're, like... What I would kind of just say, <laughs> Aries, is just um, remind yourself what, what you would like to get out of your interactions when it comes to this person this week, or just really with anybody, um, because this very much so is giving me the impression that you might want to be a little bit petty, a little bit stubborn when you handle this person, and it may feel you may feel justified, right? And I'm not telling you that it's not justifiable, but you know, will it help you get to your long-term goals with this person? Is it going to accomplish what it is that you would ideally want with this person? If it doesn't, then why do it? Why, you know, you might get some satisfaction, feed that ego for a moment, but then later on, what are you left with? Uh, did I step on some toes? I saw, I'm sorry, Aries. Uh, the cards that I pulled for y'all, though, I pulled a card for you, Aries, a card for them, and a card for the energy between y'all two, which is relatively good, uh, in a way. It does seem to be like you guys are coming out of some type of conflict, Aries. Uh, three of air or three of swords on your side is letting me know of you experience some type of pain, so it is confirming to me that you feel hurt in some type of way from this person. Um, whether, whether it was intentional or un unintentional, 
I don't know, like it's so impossible for me to say. But this card, I'll read it off, Aries. It says, great sad sadness, take time to heal, uh, but the need to forgive yourself or others is what is shown on this card. And so it is kind of emphasizing what I was saying before, Aries, of, um, Think about it from a place of what do you want to accomplish? You can be mad at them for now. You can feel hurt by them, right? You can do that pettiness thing. You might feed that ego, but then like, what are you left with, right? You won't have that relationship anymore. You won't have that connection anymore with this person. Is it really worth it? Um, you know, maybe you just need to forgive yourself. Uh, mm, uh, forgive them, perhaps. Maybe you need to forgive yourself as well. Maybe there is some type of, maybe you feel like you messed up, right? Because it, I do see pain on both sides, Aries. I'm going to be honest. Um, they have the ten of air. So both sides exp experiencing some pain. So while you may feel justified in doing some stuff, they may feel justified in doing some petty stuff too. Uh, really, I'm going to just be honest. Both y'all just need to be freaking adults, um, <laughs> Aries. And just like keep your, and, like you know, keep a careful note of where your emotions are at and like what, uh, keep control of your mind, I guess. Don't get lost in emotions. But this card says for them, for their turn of air, the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now. So this is a card of definitely, so let's just do both perspectives, Aries, because I, I am, do see pain on both sides. I'm not saying who's responsible, guilty, whatever. I don't care right um on their side it does seem to be like whatever pain they're experiencing they're in this place of uh, getting over it uh moving on from it uh they are like it does seem to be pretty end like because it does say the end of a difficult situation and probably um by the end of this week they probably will be over whatever pain they're in so then it's just like the balls in your core areas of overcoming your pain whether that forgiveness needs to come from their side or you need to forgive them or you need to just forgive yourself if for whatever pain that you might have caused them right but energy between y'all two is two of earth so there is like that chaos um too much going on this card says too much going on at once the need to make a decision and consider a more playful approach so when it comes to this connection aries stop taking things so seriously stop taking things so personally it this is a chaotic connection this is a very much so like strong uh i get a sense of strong uh emotions strong feelings strong opinions on both sides um a lot of like judgment card back of the deck a lot of uh it probably had, did come from some type of action. Um, and because, like, it probably came from once someone did some type of action and then that caused the other person to react and then back and forth. And, you know, whatever. It is just seeming to be a thing where it's just, like, explosive emotions and just being needing to keep it in control. Uh, but we're going to be pulling clarifiers now for your side of things, Aries. The cards are already falling out for you, though. Back of the deck energy, the wheel card... Ooh. So, Aries, you, it seems to be like you're in this fight or flight situ uh, emotions. I'm going to be honest. You feel you are in this fight or flight state, and it's kind of spooky. Um, we have the wheel card, and I always enjoy when, it's funny when this wheel, this wheel card, the wheel card without fail always seems to come when it comes with like the six of swords or any type of other mobile card. Um, it lets me know you're actively in the driver's seat trying to move away probably from this person or more so is triggering this is like that triggering the fight or flight with this five of swords as well because it's just like i'm getting like this just like the sense aries of where it's just like through like the chaos with this person aries like you're in just some pain and you're just like you, you don't like this pain you don't like what it is that's it's causing you you don't like the thoughts it's giving you you just don't like the feeling of whatever happened in the situation whether um you were hurt by them and or you hurt them you you just don't like the, you don't like feeling whatever it is that you're feeling with this person currently and because of that you kind of like your fight or flight is triggered aries and you want to just like run away uh four of cups you're just like nope you like you're just done like it just seems to be like you're checked out you want to just keep it moving you don't like sitting in this feeling um and so you're actively it does seem to be you're actively trying to take steps to um get out of that 
So only thing I want to say is like, make sure that you're coming at it from a balanced place, from a state where you, your emotions are in control, that you have a state of control of your emotions, I guess. Right. Um, don't just leave just out of, uh, while the emotions are high because you might regret it later. But uh, yeah, let's get into their side of things now, uh, Aries, with this Ten of Air. Um, let's see what their intentions are with you. Let's see like where their mind is at with you, what their feelings are, where their thoughts are, right? Let's see what's going on with them. Maybe we can get a little bit more clarity on this chaotic situation. Um, I want to just say, I just did um, Gemini's reading, Aries, so you might be dealing with, like, uh, Gemini, because it does very much so um, connect with their reading, where there's just dealing with a very, like, passionate um, forward energy as well. So definitely let me, it doesn't have to be, though, it's just, I'm just noticing the similarities. All right, back of the deck, energy, Queen of Cups, and so they they really see like gemini i don't i'm calling you gemini now because i was talking about gemini aries uh queen of cups uh in the back of the deck and they have king cups as one of the other clarifiers so they definitely see you um as someone they they want in their life uh, they see see you as someone that you complete them um, they also kind of acknowledge, uh, Gemini. I keep wanting to call you Gemini Aries because I mentioned them. Uh, they keep, they also acknowledge, uh, Aries, your, y'all's differences where one person might be more expressive with their emotions or more outward with their emotions. The other person is a little bit more reserved, right? Uh, dare I get, I get the sense more so like they are, um, the ones with, mm, no, I would say you are the Queen of Cups, honestly, Aries, even if you might not want to admit it. Uh, the other clarifiers that I pulled for them were the Sun card and the Three of Pentacles. So they think very highly of you, Aries. Um, I don't know what happened in y'all's situation. I don't know what chaos I'm connecting to when it comes to this connection, right? Because I'm really not understanding why you're in this mindset, right? Of where you kind of want to run away, where your fight or flight is triggered. Um because they see you in just a really high like i don't know i'm gonna be honest this does seem to be like a paint like it does seem to be like an energy like how i'm feeling aries right now where it's just like um y'all just got into a fight and i'm just like waltzing in right after and being like oh like are we like what's for dinner and i didn't realize y'all just had like a really intense fight and i'm just sitting there and being like what's going on right because this is very much so what i'm getting like in this i'm not getting any impression on like like any kind of cards addressing this pain or anything because i'm i feel so clueless to it aries because <laughs> it but i can just tell you like the intention behind them is really good three pentacles they're putting you on they see you in a highlight they want to connect with you they want to work with you the sun card um shows is the best card in the deck it's that happiness card um i feel like it is like a situation though aries where it's like Y'all just have to make it through, like, this rough patch. If you make it through, like, whatever rough patch with whatever this fight, whatever this conflict, whatever this chaos seems to be, uh, Aries, it does seem to be it's going to just make you guys stronger and bring you guys closer. Um, truly, because it is, like, their intentions are really good. Um, and if you choose not to, like, run away from this anymore, Aries, and you choose not to, like, drive off from this and just actually choose to just stay in this for a little bit longer you're gonna get out of those like bad feelings that you're feeling and associating with this connection um whether that is like whether that is like if you waited out a little bit longer to practice that forgiveness with them uh what have you but i do see it like long term being good for you like they have their emotions are good for you they think highly of you aries i'm pulling clarifiers now for you or two of earth um aries and the clarifiers we are pulling now four swords six of wands five of there we go five of wands seven of wands back of the deck energy oh aries 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 so five of wands is this conflict card now it did come up in the inverted so i do feel like this is confirming to me where it's like y'all are going to overcome like this um conflict that's happening with y'all in between y'all right now y'all probably absolutely did get into some type of tiff 
Uh, four of Swords lets me know where you both are in your feelings. You both are in your head when it comes to, like, that conflict. It's just, like, y'all both, like, yelled at each other and then are now sleeping in separate rooms. And both you guys are, like, laying in bed and you're just, like, in your feelings and just kind of sad. And you're just, like, you don't want this, but you, now you feel like you have to commit to it, right? But you don't have to commit to that energy, um, Aries. Just get on the same page. Six of Wands, it is confirming to me again where it's just, like, victory like this is that victory card it is where it's just like things just turn out to be successful and just everything just starts working out in this connection which kind of like is what's highlight like what has been overall highlighted especially in their side of things aries i do see it as if they did mess up aries in some type of way with all these positive cards and how they view you and just like um difficult situations ending and stuff king of cups as well maybe they had to process the situation to understand your perspective i do see it just like overall like them probably putting in a good amount well i don't want to say them putting in a good amount of work but it does seem to be like they really want this to work that their intentions are really to go the long call with this so it kind of puts the ball in your core aries of being like what do you do in this situation how are you going to handle this right um it puts you in a situation of like does the fight or flight um win again for you do you choose to fight for this connection and like work work through it or do you choose to run away from this connection um you may have noticed with my tone this entire time aries it does seem like i'm speaking in such a way because it seems to be like a pattern for you aries of where because, like, if you don't keep your emotion, emotions in check and if you react, you kind of will just, like, at the sign of any type of, like, type of feeling or any type of conflict, whether it's, like... Because conflict can be good, especially if you guys learn something from one another. Um, and then it just brings y'all closer. Because this could just bring y'all closer. And so that's when that conflict could be good for the connection overall. Um, but it doesn't seem to be you allow things to get to that point ever. It feels like once there's like any type of conflict, you shut down and just are checked out. But I don't know. I'm going to be done rambling because I don't want to step on y'all's toes too much, Aries. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And also share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages as well, Aries. But until next time, I love you so much. Bye.